So the myth is that time heals all wounds. And if you're watching this, you've probably had a broken heart because if you're human, you've gone through some sort of heartbreak. So I'm Violet Lang, I'm an expert in love, dating and relationships. And tonight I wanna to share with you about what does it take to actually heal a broken heart because it's not about time. Um, it's about time we heal, but time is not what actually brings us healing. So I'm curious, you know, what has been some of your most challenging heartbreaks and experiences you've gone, that you've gone through? You know, on a personal side, having a miscarriage last December was totally heartbreaking and devastating. Going through a divorce was heartbreaking. I've had a lot of things that were heartbreaking, but also heart opening, right? You know, heartbreak can crack us open into getting really clear on what's important to us and our values and where we wanna spend our time and our priorities. But the process can feel excruciating. You know, it can literally physically feel like a heart is tightening or cracking. And if we hold on to that sensation of pain, then it can feel like we're stuck in that forever. You know, I've spoke with women and even worked with women who have been single for five to 10 years because they've gone through something pretty tragic. You know, their spouse had cheated on them or their spouse had passed away or they had been a single mom raising kids for a long time and just hadn't known where to start. And when they did start online dating, they were, you know, exposed and bombarded to scammers and other stuff. And I don't want that for you, right? Like love is why we're here. It's why we're on the planet. It's one of the greatest things about being alive, but a lot of us feel like it's maybe meant for someone else or it's just a black box, you know, that it just happens by, you know, one day you just wake up and your Prince Charming comes and that's actually not true. You know, love and relationship is just a skill just like anything else. And despite all the activity on the apps, most people aren't necessarily getting closer to what they want in relationship because it's not about time and it's actually not even about effort. Do you have to take action? Of course, you know, everything in life requires commitment and requires action, but it's actually about having the right expertise and another four letter word, which is love, right? Love is what heals a broken heart, not time. So we can spend decades healing and never feel totally healed. We can meet an amazing partner and within weeks and months feel like a totally different person. Have you ever had that experience where you met someone and whether relationship was a long relationship or a short relationship, you were totally different after spending that much time and that much energy with the person. Like you look back and you think, I was a different person before I met them. You know, that's the power of love. It's so transformational, but we can get stuck feeling that we have to heal our heart and just spending a lot of time on that, but not doing necessarily the right things and not having the right support, right? Not having the right love. So when I talk about love being what actually heals a heartbreak, it's more than just the love of a partner, although that's nice too, but sometimes after a heartbreak, we either do one of two things. We'll close off and pull back and, um, you know, tell ourselves that it's just gonna take time and, and get really guarded, or we'll hop back on the saddle again and maybe get into a relationship right away that's just repeating our old pattern or, or vacillating between our certain pattern of maybe someone who's safe but boring, that breakup happens and we go to someone who's dangerous and a reenactment of our old familiar patterns and we just kind of toggle back and forth between safe but lackluster and something that's actually not healthy for us and there is a middle way and one of my favorite things is helping women change their patterns of attraction without giving up what you think is attractive but with actually dating in a new way that's aligned with who you are your values and your vision so whether you're watching this live or watching the replay you know i want you to think about not only the challenges that you've gone through and how those have cracked you open, but also think about what's really made the difference in your healing journey and whether you're just starting or whether you've been doing all sorts of therapy or all sorts of reading books or, you know, working with an expert like me, you know, it's important that you have love, right? The, the masculine sort of energy is about the structure. It's about the action and the feminine energy or the feminine gift is about the energy. It's about uh, the feeling. It's, it's beyond just the container. You know, I create a container for the women that I work with, a, a structure for the program and the practices and the tools and the calls. And, you know, we have a man panel tonight. We have all different sorts of fun, cool stuff. Um, but the energy that we add to it and that each woman adds to it is what truly creates the transformation. So it's love that heals and beyond partner love. It's, it's really knowing that you're lovable. It's having love for yourself and it's feeling loved. 
even in a non-romantic way, you know, just having another woman either on a call or on a Facebook group reflect back to you, like, it's so beautiful when you're vulnerable, or when you said this, it really moved me in this way, or, you know, when you were sharing about that experience, like, I immediately became more curious, I wanted to know more about you. Like, we get a chance to really soar, to, to reach into our fullest potential and the expansion of the heart. The expansion of the heart is the gift of the heartbreak, but we can't find it if we don't have a new container and if we don't have the right love, if we don't have the energy and support within that container to really help us to shine and really help us to thrive. You know, I have a client who came to me, I think it was about a year ago now, a little more than a year ago. She came to me in February or March of last year and she had been getting over an ex, but it had been months, like I think maybe six months that she had been getting over him. And we were going through her healing process, which is the first few weeks of the work that I do with someone to have them help have a right foundation so that when they're dating, they can date in the most effective way. You know, a lot of my clients meet their partner within a few weeks or a few months, so it doesn't have to take, you know, a decade. And so part of that means having the right foundation. But when she came to me, she was really struggling with getting over her ex and she had tried taking time off and she had tried dating, you know, and going on a bunch of dates. She had tried reading the books. She had tried doing all different sorts of things, but it really wasn't working. And unfortunately, you know, her ex ended up getting engaged really shortly after she started this work with me. And so it was almost like a, like a, you know, salt in the wound to have this ex that she still cared about, that she probably secretly hoped was going to come back into her life, even though he hadn't treated her well. And even though it wasn't necessarily a healthy relationship, you know, her heart was still longing for him. And that cracked her open even more. And I wouldn't wish that on anyone, but it was a huge opportunity for her to reclaim her power. Instead of putting her power onto some outcome with this person or wishing things were different, like now she's one of the most badass, confident, amazing, you know, women that I know who's dating a great guy and has done all sorts of things in her career, right? She's gotten a new job that pays her more where she has to work less. She's done some investment things with some cool investments. Like her whole life is different. And we just started working together a little over a year ago because she got the right expertise, which means someone who can create the right container and the right structure. But then she also experienced the right energy and the right love. So my question for you is like, what could love do for you right now? Like what parts of you are you still abandoning or protecting or rejecting? And instead of feeling like you need to be 100% healed in order to get into a relationship, what if finding the right partner is the pathway to healing? You know, when I met Jason, I had already done a ton of work on myself. I would say like I'd gotten the ball 80 yards down the field, but there wasn't a touchdown yet, you know, and in my mind, the touchdown is getting married and having a family and all of those things. And I kept scratching my head. Why? Because I had spent, you know, five, six years of the time doing all of these different things. And what I realized is that you can't learn this from a book and you actually can't learn this even from a video, even though I'm loving being with you, with you here right now. You know, have to use this and learn this with someone who can give you hands-on expertise and guidance and notice your blind spots, the places where you reject love or you protect yourself or you close off or you fly into the next relationship without, you know, paying attention to your body or being discerning, you know, someone who can really hold that space for you and shower you with love in the most beautiful ways. Um, oh no, someone says she's not able to hear me. Well, I'm about to wrap this up. And if so, then I'm going to have to re-record, but maybe you can turn the volume up or hit the little um, button that looks like a microphone or a, um, anyway, Facebook will sometimes automatically uh, mute the videos. So try to do that Chantal and see if you can unmute that and if that helps. Um, so yeah, so if you're wanting to heal a broken heart, if you're thinking that you have to be 100% perfect in order to get into a relationship, it's not true. Time does not heal all wounds. The right love and the right container or expertise is what does. And I love helping women reclaim their power in dating and relationships and find the man of their dreams or the partner of their dreams so that they can have everything that they wanted. And I was sharing a little bit earlier, you know, I was about 20 yards from the touchdown line or from the, from the, you know, end of the field when I met Jason and things came up when I met him that were so beautiful that needed to be healed. I needed to be held feeling vulnerable. I needed to share my story and have someone not run away. 
you know, about my abuse and about all the things that I had gone through, but also my hopes and dreams and how I wanted to be a mom and I wanted all of these things. And, you know, we can only heal relationship through relationship, a partner relationship or a therapeutic relationship, you know, with a coach or with a mentor or with an expert and through the relationship with other women who are on the same journey as we are. So if you'd like some support in your love life and beyond that, if you'd like the outcome that you want in your love life, if you want to get the ball all the way down the field and get married or start a family or maybe you don't want to have your own kids, but you want to create a family or you want to create a business or projects, then I would love to connect and see if it makes sense if we can help you with your vision of love and, and healing and doing the work that you need to do to meet your partner and then creating a beautiful relationship with your partner so that last little bit of healing can be done together. Then go to violetlang.com forward slash talk and set up for your set up your free breakthrough to love session. These are really incredible. You have an expert that's holding space for you, listening to your patterns, helping you understand where you might have gotten off course and helping you understand the next steps to get everything that you would ever want. And if it makes sense for us to maybe work together, we'll talk about that, but it might not make sense. It might not be the right fit for us. It might not be the right fit for you. So we may not invite you into our program, but you're still gonna get a ton of value and clarity from this call and really get the insight that you need in order to take the next step forward. So take the next step by going to violetlang.com forward slash talk and setting up your free breakthrough to love session. And again, remember, it's not time that heals all wounds, it's love and having the right container or the right expertise. Mwah. <laughs>